You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Oh, it's always good to be here in H-Town, Houston, Texas. We are live at Toyota Center tonight. DC, this is a venue that has been good to you and your team, and we'll see who can make some more UFC history here tonight. Houston is just a great fight city. You can think of Vegas, Brazil, Canada. Sometimes Houston gets overlooked, and some of the biggest fights have happened in the Toyota Center. This is a great fight venue for all UFC fights. Flair gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Oh, he blocked that one. Throws the left hand. He sets this really high pace with the hope that his opponent can't keep up. We've seen him do it. Fast pace here in the early going. Moving to his left now. Real nice body kick lands. They're so evenly matched, they're going tit for tat. Oh man, hit to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. That shot is blocked by LaFleur. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Good right hand from the top. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he's throwing bombs. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Overhand lands rush. Another good stick to the head. Oh, huge knee! And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Gotta be careful. He's gotta shore up the defense because if he keeps getting the ooh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, oh there he is. Back to his feet. Strikes continue to land. The flare gets back up here. 20 seconds to go in round one. Great commitment to the kicking game. Round two straight ahead. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> What a round, multiple knockdowns. Amazing to think he didn't get him out of there, but he came pretty damn close. Oh, definitely let the bodies hit the floor. There was one guy's body hit the floor over and over and over. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Oh, look at that right hand there. Another shot right on that cut. You think his vision has been compromised at all? No, it, it has to, right? Because you got to be able to see to fight. And right now, he's been targeted in that area, and you can see it worsening. Heavy oh, he's oh, he's oh, massive diving punch, flush to the head. And he's back up. Beautiful diving strike land. Rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. Oh, well, that swelling has essentially rendered him a one-eyed fighter. And to that end, the referee has paused the action. He calls for the ringside physician. And here comes the doctor. The doctor's gonna take a look at him, check out the swelling. Give him the old finger test to see if he can see his opponent in front of him. 
and decide whether or not he can continue. And it looks as though he is going to allow the fight to continue. So a nice pop from the crowd as that decision is made. He's got to go for it now, though. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. Second round under the Good work. Come on. Great defensive skills to block that punch. Well, some might describe this as critical condition. <laughs> Fight! 